Okay, so I did a thing. I bought a $100 pool table. And it is a heck of a deal. As you can see here, the pool table is in really good condition. But the problem is, I've never owned a pool table. I've never moved a pool table. Um, I got a couple guys over to help me move the pool table. And we thought, you know, aside from it being just this beast of a thing and super heavy, that it would be all right. So this is where it sits, and when, when I picked it up, I do have it here. Uh, more on that in a minute. But the problem is, um, having never moved one before, I didn't know how, and, and none of us really knew how any of this works. So we didn't know that you should completely disassemble it um, and package it properly to move. Um, we took it off its base and tried to get it up the stairs and ended up damaging it rather rather severely on the, on the way up the stairs uh, before we finally just did what we should have done to begin with and take it completely apart. So, it is damaged. Um, it is still going to be my pool table, and I am going to repair it. Um, so, without further ado, um, this is what it looks like now, and, or at least the frame, this is what the frame looks like now. And then from there, we will work on getting it repaired. All right, so here's the pool table frame. The top looks good until you get over here to the sides. We totally damaged both sides. So this whole support here is going to have to be replaced. The one down here is going to have to be replaced. This side didn't break out. And this strip looks good on the outside. That strip on the outside looks good. This one's good. And there's supposed to be one there. But it's missing. So the two cross boards in the middle the two main supports need to be replaced i do have uh i instead of this particle board because that's that's all this is is just particle board um i went ahead and chose cedar so it's a little bit more durable and should hold the frame a lot more sturdily and then this is the slate it is three quarters of an inch thick. All three pieces are still in good shape, so we didn't damage that part. Um, we mainly messed up the frame because we weren't sure how to take this thing apart. Um, I've never moved a pool table before, so yeah. But it doesn't look like it's that hard to replace the two middle pieces. Um, they screw in pretty evenly. I'll go ahead and mark them. I do have the um, cedar already purchased. It is currently 10, 8 feet long. And when I measured this, it's 50, 52 or 54 inches um, from that corner to that corner. So um, I will have to re-measure and get them cut and that'll be a later video. Um, I do have all of the pieces, and I will show you the rest of the pieces. Um, basically, these outer pieces um, is where the felt gets stapled in, and we used a pry bar to, to, to get the trim off, not knowing that if we'd actually taken the rails off, these would have actually unscrewed. So, we're going to have to reassemble these back to the trim on the outside. Put the trim back together so they'll 
they'll come completely out. Uh, the two at the, the one at the top and the one at the bottom are still good. So we just need to reattach the trim. And then, um, yeah, so shouldn't be terribly difficult. I'll, uh, let me show you the other pieces. Okay, so I have the trim here. So these two are the supports for the frame. Um, they're what goes in between the frame. They're also particle board, but they don't actually support weight. They just mark your distance. These are the trim pieces that we use the pry bar on. And you can see where they were stapled in. So I'm hoping I can put the staples back in because they should line up. And then I'll go ahead and glue them back as well. But I do have really good markings where they used to be. That's the front board. It's actually got some sort of a brand decal. And then these are the two that were on the sides. So there are a couple pieces that we tore, but that should help me line it up to where it was glued. And you can see where the glue was, and that's what actually popped. So these pieces here would line up. Anyway, that'll be another time. So we'll, we'll get these trim pieces pulled off the frame. You know, we'll unscrew them the way that they should have been unscrewed. We'll put these back on here. And then we've got our base, which this was already like this, where it looks like it had separated a little bit. And I don't know if that's from weight um, so we'll, we'll probably kind of pound these back to the way they should be, make sure that they're square. And then down there, I've got all of the other pieces like this. So that's the bottom and this is the top of each rail. So each rail, I don't have to do anything with the felt. Then we put the pockets back on, side pieces on. And some point in the middle, we're going to have to put the felt back on. But the felt is in one piece. It is not tore anywhere that is going to be an issue. So more to come when I start putting it back together. The other thing is it also came with this. Uh, this is really nice to hold the pull cues. A couple extra cues and a uh, nice little storage edition so all in all for a hundred dollars even if i have to put this all back together um i think i can make it work <laughs>